Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Rusty Lake Roots, a point-and-click horror adventure mystery game in which weird stuff happens. You solve puzzles and experience a variety of surreal, bizarre events. It's hard to describe. It's very similar to Twin Peaks, if you're into that. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Rusty Lake universe, this is the 10th game in the Cube Escape slash Rusty Lake series. However, in my experience with these games, you don't need to have experienced the previous games to enjoy one in the middle of the series. However, if you would like the full context of the overarching story and the world building, then I recommend experiencing the previous nine games first. They're pretty short usually between 15 and 30 minutes long, with the exception of Rusty Lake Hotel, which is over an hour. And there is a playlist in the description. I have played all the previous games, and I've put them in order that I would recommend experiencing them. It's not the same order that I played them in, because I played Rusty Lake Hotel first, and that's game number five. But hopefully that won't matter for you just going through it. Now. I've been meaning to post this for about two months because the last time I played a game in this series was about two months ago. It just hasn't happened until now. But that's water under the bridge. Let's go. Rusty Lake, spring, 1860. James Vandeboom arrived at Rusty Lake. His uncle had just passed away under mysterious circumstances. James was his uncle's only heir. He had no idea of the events that would change his life. I just realized that's a uh, Rusty Lake Hotel up here in the background. Cool. Okay. Hi, James Vanderboom. If that even is your real name. Click on a person to interact. Cool. They usually don't have these little tutorials. Click on the text to read. Dear James, I regret to inform you that your uncle has passed away. He has left you his house in a very special seed. <laughs> oh, so it's Stardew Valley. Didn't realize that. Plant it and start your own family. 572. He has left you his house in a very special seed. Cool. Well, we'll do something with it, I guess. So what's this? I'm guessing the code is 572. Okay. We'll see what's in this thing. Five, seven, two. Thank you very much. And we got ourselves... The very special seed. And a bone. And that's it. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's give the bone to the dog. That seems like... That would make sense. What are you gonna do with the do uh, the bone, huh? I almost said, what are you going to do with the dog? Oh! Okay, I got an achievement. Plant a tree. Cool, I did it! I achieved something, guys. Got a can right there. We need water, so maybe we'll put it... here? In the well? Okay, we've retrieved the water. Can with water, and then we'll just... There we go, because that's how things work around here. Instant growth. Cool. Look at him, he's looking at the tree with reverence. You alright, mister? Oh. Click on the tree to make it grow. I guess we're done with James Vanderboom. Spring 1860, the house. Who is this person? Oh, it's him again. Some objects you can drag. Oh, like the stool. Oh! Oh, okay, so we can get the bird's nest. Come on, man, just stretch. You look like you're not even trying. Okay, what, what is this? A diamond? I found a diamond? You found a diamond in a flower pot. You struck it rich! Uh... Um, does the Vanderboom household require diamond deposits in order to open? Holy crap. 
That's Mr. Crow. Get out of here, Mr. Crow. I'm trying to break this window and steal a diamond from my own house, okay? Oh, there we go. Oh, they're different colors. I bet there's something to that. Okay. So, do you want do you want a worm? Something here. Okay, I got a twig. I bet you I just use the twig here. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Just tip it a couple times. There we go. Thank you. You want you want a worm? You want breakfast, little guy? Time to die. Okay, cool. A lot of times in this in these games, you feed animals and then they they die and you have to cut them open for a key or something. Okay, let's get inside our own home. Found another cube. Okay. So time is passing. So Rusty Lake Roots appears to be like a prequel to the entire series. Summer 1860. Cool. We need a key there. The Vanderboom Brothers. Neato. Thanks. Oh no, symbols. We'll come back to this later. <laughs> okay, wait. Does the key open this? No, it does not. Hey, there he is. Dude, what do you do all day? I don't want a fire. Are you cold? Open this up. Thank you for the hatchet. I use that to chop some wood. Matches. There's always matches in the drawer. We gotta get some firewood. Oh, right here. Let's take that. Let's light a fire. Since that's what, uh... Mr. Vanderboom wants it. Oh, it was hiding from us. Not cool, man. Okay. Uh-huh. Wait. There we go. That was pretty easy. What's this? Eight twenty-five? Okay, so let's let's just Let's just try it. Ooh. <gasps> what? What? What are you doing? Bah! Why? Why? Nah, why are you making me do this? I got an achievement. The nipple. Great. This is what I mean. Weird stuff happens. Let's go inside the dude's nipple, I guess. Oh, good news, guys. We found a heart inside his nipple. And now we're going out his mouth. Neato. Great. Oh, James is falling asleep. Oh! I love this lady. Okay, well. It's not my problem. Okay. Do we put the heart inside the jar? That changed something. And we're done. Because that's Rusty Lake. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Oh, we got a branching path. Let's go there first. Summer 1865, finding love. We got James and Mary here. Let me read it. What you got there? What's your line? Nothing? Nothing? Let me have that hanky. What about you? She's like, is this love? What are you thinking, dude? Oh, I can't wait to have sex. Okay. So we got a locked cabinet out here. We got a rose. Oh, I just took it. I was about to say, do I have to use the hanky so I don't get thorns in my fingers? Oh. Thank, thank you for the feather. Would you like the rose? Oh, you are... I've got to get you to move before I can get that key. Hey, you want a hanky? Are you ticklish? <laughs> He's not ticklish, guys. That's annoying. Uh, dude. Give, give her the rose. <gasps> now she's happy. This is love. <gasps> no! That's a bad thing. That bad thing. Would you like a hanky? Hanky with blood on it. 
Cool. So what are you thinking, dude? I'm trying to find out. Here, here. Why don't you scribble something? Oh, we could we could write it in blood. I just realized that. There we go. Write it in blood, dude. Will you marry me? Are you serious? You're writing her a marriage proposal with her nosebleed blood? All right, if she says yes, you found yourself a keeper. You never let that woman go. Don't like she doesn't know what's going on. She understands what's happening. Here, give it to her. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll give it to her. I'll do it. Hmm. Coward. Oh, man. There we go. Leave you two lovebirds alone, and I'm gonna mess with this one. Take that. Leave. Give me that key. I'm gonna go. Boom. <gasps> It's a hand with a ring. It's about to say, you can't just propose. You gotta have a ring, dude. Look at that. Just call me the matchmaker. <laughs> Cause I did all the work in this scenario. Oh, she's smitten. And now, on to the next scenario. Cool, so we got James and Mary right there. And then it's gonna branch off to her. That's cool. I like this game, man. Spring 1867, childbirth. What now? Oh, she's she does not look happy. She's definitely pregnant. I want the baby bottles. What, you gonna have triplets? She's gonna have, she's gonna have triplets, guys. Oh, sad old dog. Oh, he doesn't like me touching his neck. <laughs> He's like, rough, leave me alone. Take those scissors. What is this? Samuel Vanderboom. With some stuff on it. Okay, we got blue, white, and red. Albert Vanderboom. Emma Vanderboom. Apparently they already have birthdays, even though they haven't been born yet, clearly. Have they been born yet? Mortar and pestle. Spoon. Got a lot of stuff here. Let's put the uh, little tap here. Um. Can I get like a spoonful of something? Okay, we need a container. <laughs> Let's just snap these. Let's get rid of the plant. Yeah, thanks. Okay. We can open the window. What do you want? Tell me what you want. You want a spoonful of sugar? She's got cravings. Okay, I bet you, oh, I bet you these pair up with uh, the invitations, or the invitations, birthday cards? What are these? Let's go ahead and grind this up. Uh, you want a spoon? Spoon with birth potion. Okay. Yeah, that's what that is. No. No. I got an achievement, triplets. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Vandermeer. That better not be placenta, it's placenta. I mean, whatever. Yes, please, stop that. Uh, okay. Right, so, how did they know what they would look like? One's got a birthmark, one's got hair, and one doesn't. So I'm guessing, okay, hang on, we gotta look at this. What do you guys need? The one with the birthmark needs red. Samuel needs white. Emma needs blue. Okay. Not sure I understand. You're not gonna eat the placenta, are you? Of course you are. Oh, food coma. I understand, man. Let me have that key. You're a real pain in the ass about it. Okay, let's take these bottles. These bottles. One of these... goes here. Bottle with wine. Oh, it's wine, not blood. <laughs> okay. 
Mrs. Vanderboom, would you please? Thank you. Great. I'm glad that that happened. Okay, so we got white, red, and then blue. Water. Neat. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Let me just double check. Okay, so... <laughs> so you're gonna get water. You're gonna get milk. And you're gonna get wine. Right. Okay. Nothing yet, so we gotta move on to the other one. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can still go back here, right? Summer 1870, The Staircase. Okay, so this is more of James's story. Hello. What are you doing? What do you want? I uh, went about a gateway. I want to go somewhere else. Spring 1859. My brother and I are in the final stage of finding the elixir. The alchemist. Okay, we've seen that. We saw that symbol in the uh, previous scenario, a couple scenarios ago. Whatever. Okay, so arrow, crescent moon, two targets. We'll remember that. Thank you very much. You're very helpful. This is that. Let's rip the photo up. Up. Oh! That's different. Hang on, we'll come back to that. Now you give me like three different codes. Oh, each different parts of it. Okay. Yeah, no, I get it. I got it. Uh, so, that, right? Yeah. And then what was it that you had? Let me look. Let me see. Target, target, crescent. Okay, and this will be all, all of them. Yeah. Did it. We got ourselves binoculars, which that's actually a telescope, not binoculars. Let's take a look at Rusty Lake Hotel. There it is. Oh. Oh. So we got, this has got to be a puzzle. Rabbit, pigeon, pig guy, crow. Oh, okay. This got to be for, ah, here, it's this. Okay. Rabbit. Uh. What about the other two? How am I supposed to know what they're doing? Let me take a look. Okay. Oh, and then this one. Okay, so deer and then uh, pheasant. Which is like that. Ooh. Okay. Hang on, we got another puzzle happening here. Boom. Boom. That goes all the way to the end. Let's see, this goes right there, right there. This goes all the way to the beginning. And right there, oh, easy. And then, okay, so we got those. So what about, what about this? Okay, seems pretty easy. So what if we did this? So we just gotta match them up to where they make a coherent image. There we go. Cool. Well, it's what you were dreaming about. I wonder if it's there. Yeah, it's right there. We've done it. Cool. All right, summer of 1870, the elixir. All right, so now you've found your secret Vanderboom lair, apparently. Let's see if there's anything I can click on, sometimes there is, okay. Let's see, so this is a new dog. Yeah, new puppy. This elixir will bring you eternal life or sudden death. The alchemist. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no, don't make me do this. One pound, two pounds. So I gotta put three, four, four, five. Okay. So one, uh. 
One pound. Two pounds. Let's see what... No? This? So that's three pounds. That's probably four, and that's five. So, three, four, four, five. Oh, no problem! No problem. Achievement unlocked. The elixir. Neato. Uh... Oh! Huh? Do you want the elixir? Put it in the doggy bowl. Okay. You want to experiment on your dog? Poor guy. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Now you can take it. Oh no. Oh no! That looked like sudden death to me. Summer 1870, The Wake. Oh, James is dead. Due to his own arrogance. Ten sacrifices, ten family members, one rebirth. Hmm? Excuse you? Heart. We've done the heart. Oh. So we gotta do the rest of those? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we must erect a statue of him. Does that go right there? Yeah, it does. It was acting earlier like it wasn't. This goes right there. Who broke the statue, man? Why would they- and why? Why would they do that? Okay, we gotta get, uh, this thing right there. This... Does this go here? It does. That doesn't go right there. Okay, it's gotta- it's gotta go right here. And then, this is the corner. And then, this, right there. <laughs> um, okay, so it's a bust. That's why I didn't know. I mean, it makes sense now. Absolutely makes sense. Thank you. Don't forget your toupee. We did it. And we're supposed to put some things in his eyes, I think. So we gotta look for those. Uh, so like, oh my god, are we gonna have to pick out his actual eyes? We're gonna have to take out his actual eyes, what are you holding? Oh. Let's put it there. Let's put this. Oh. Let's put this. Let's put this on the pinky? No. Mmm. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're gonna make me do it again? It's gonna be even harder this time? Okay, this is it. Hang on. We put that one on first. Cool. Put that one back. There. Um. Put that one down there. That one down there. And then this. Yeah, this will get it. Got it. Ah! I only found one of the eyes. Why was it down by his stomach? Oh, his eyes have already been plucked out, it seems. I did not realize that. Okay, well. Gotcha. Huh. Um... No, oh, I was about to say, is that the other eye? It's not. Oh, we gotta make a scene. Neat. I did it. <laughs> that was easy, got the other coin. Do we just put the coins in? No. That's one of the eyes. And we got two coins. Uh... Do we put these? As his eyes? Oh, and there it is. There's the second eye. Is that supposed to symbolize his greed? He's greedy? Okay. Oh, oh! 
Compartment. Knife. What, do we stab him? <laughs> no. That's not what we do. Oh, we cut off his tongue. Because uh, of course we do. And then what, we preserve the tongue? Okay. There we go, so... <laughs> James Vanderboom's uh, tongue and his heart have been preserved for generations to come. Spring 1876, Child's Play. And here we have the three kids. Albert, who we fed wine when he was a baby. Emma, who got water. And Samuel, who got milk. So I'm guessing Albert's gonna be a little messed up. I like butterfly. Oh no, it won't come towards me. Emma, let me take that ribbon, thank you. What do you want? I got honey, and I got a ribbon. What are you up to, you little scamp? Oh, I want a wishbone, okay. I got seeds and a pot cover. So what, do we plant the seeds? Oh wait, no, these are marbles, not seeds. A wishbone though, I think I spy one right here. We have that. Thank you. Just took a couple of hits. Let's give you that. You don't want marbles, do you? You want... So you want a slingshot. And now what? What, you hit the butterfly? Why? Oh, wait. Hang on. No, no, don't hit her with it. Honey. Eh? Yeah. Cover it. You caught the butterfly. Oh, he, he was trying to get it. Oh, no. She shoved Albert into the tree. Oh, no. He wants to kill them. He wants them dead. Oh, I already know how this is going to go. Oh, my God. Sam, you're such a bully! <laughs> what happened here? Poor children. Their lives will be full of misery. But their legacy will be of great importance. Thanks, Mr. Crow. How did you get here? I guess you're not bound by time and space, it would seem. All right, so we got all three of the kids. Spring 1884, fertility. Hi, Emma. You'd be looking good if you weren't... <laughs> we weren't so upset looking. I. Okay. You like plants? Let me take this. What is this? A garden weasel. That's what that's called? Okay. Okay, so you, you want this. Okay, well, why don't you just... We can't weasel it? Oh no, do we need to like pollinate it somehow with the bumblebee? Oh, we gotta make colors. Okay, wait. So if we make orange... Oh, this is what we do. Right, it makes sense. Okay. Because this is the white flower. Wait, yellow? Not quite what we want. We want something a little more orange. So red should do it. No? Okay, oh, this is for us to start over. Oh, okay. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. Okay, so we got the first one. Now we just need to make more of them. This is fun. Okay, let's start with red. And... Yeah, we want to have this type. Blue. Purple. More red. 
Yeah, it's it. Okay. Ah, this is neat. Okay. So now we want the really purple ones. So more blue this time. Blue, red, blue. Wait, no. We want, we want this one. But we want it with this. Cool. Okay, last one. This is blue, yellow? Blue, because it's a little bluer. And then we want it with this. I got all, I got all four of them. I think. Hi. You want this one? What do you think? Oh, she wants, she wants all four of them, I think. Yeah! You like that? Okay. Well, you were impregnated by the flower? What? What? Hang on. We'll deal with you in a minute. So let's do uh, Samuel. Spring 1889, the clock. What do you want, Samuel? What are your goals in life? Oh, I want a saw. Well, there's one right here. So you go ahead and take that. You happy? What about a dildo? Uh, sorry, Sam, don't have that. Let me have that gear. Let me have the glue. Coming soon to Rusty Lake, the amazing Ida fortune teller. Is her name Ida No? That's funny. Drag saw, hit wood, glue. Can I take these? Oh, okay, wait. We'll come back to that. Something here, there's another gear. Oh, we got a gear puzzle right here for sure. For freaking sure, okay. Now we gotta have these all interact. Let's put the big one right there. That makes most sense. Uh, not quite. Uh, they're kind of all off a little bit. But let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay, that's not quite what we need. Oh, so we need to cut the wood into those shapes? Missed that gear. Let's put it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, these are not... There we go, that works. Oh, almost. These three are right, for sure. This one over here doesn't seem to be good for anything, though. Um... Oh, did I do it? Oh! Okay, got it. So this... No, not that. You wanna... move it... right... there. Cool! I was overcomplicating this. Let's see. Uh, like that. And then... Got it! Uh, and of course, no, no, no. This is just the exact opposite of what I did earlier. Right there. Boom. And then one last piece, maybe? Ready. Oh. Okay. So then we just put this together. Easy. That goes right there. This goes right here. This there. Boom. And... Oh my gosh, it looks so new. 
Ah, there we go. Cool. Nice. We complete the clock. And I think, yeah, there it is. So 3.30 is what we want to set to. Right there. Cool. That, that did it. Ah, Ida. What's up? Well, I'll take that pipe. Then she's gone. Oh, Samuel, I think she likes you. I want to smoke this pipe. Okay. Well, you want me to light your pipe for you? Can't you do anything your damn self? Okay. Well, neat. Okay, so we're moving on to that one. Let's... Let's do it like this. Spring 1885. Masks. Alright, Albert. I'm sure you're up to many well-adjusted things. What's up? I want a butterfly. Still, he won't give up the knife till he gets a butterfly, I bet. Okay, got a blue mask. Mm-hmm. Nothing there yet. I got the watering can. Okay, we gotta change that. Whenever we get the info for it. Here. These require keys. This is a code. And that's about it. Okay, so what if we give you the blue mask? Did, did that do something? Oh, we gotta leave it on him. That was messing me up. I thought it would just change something, so I was looking for what it changed. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Let's go. Put up this mask. Now we're gonna give you this one. That'll change it. Okay. Now it's snowy. Got an icicle. Um. Maybe use that here. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Telescope slash binoculars. There's the mill from Cubescape. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Okay, so that's part of the code that we need for the symbols. Triangle pointing at needle, pointing down. Okay. That's fine. You don't need to help me. Let's look out there this time. Here he is. Okay. Got it. Ah, uh, we got a really scary mask. Achievement unlocked. The moon mask. Apparently this is a very special mask. That one's weird, dude. Oh no, we're gonna look at the moon? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Two. Oh, five, two, three, one. Five, two, three, one. Thank you. It's very helpful. You gave me a hint. Five, two, three, one. And we got you a butterfly, Albert. Don't do it. Don't do it! Okay. You did it. Even though I specifically asked you not to, you did it anyway. Cool, thanks, Albert. Swell guy. Let's go to Emma's next scenario. Fall 1891, The Swing. Wait, wh why is this Albert and Frank? Who's Frank? 
Oh, kid. Hi. Right. I want teddy bear. Okay, man. I'll try to get you a teddy bear. It's a pumpkin. Oh, piece of a teddy bear. I guess we gotta assemble it back together. There's an arm. And what do you have? Can I take that knife from you? Thanks. I want a scary looking pumpkin. Okay, we'll carve the pumpkin. Pumpkin mask. Well, now you look creepy. Are you happy? Now I just need the head. I wonder if putting the pumpkin mask on changed anything. Oh! You should have said that earlier! Whatever. There we go, there's the teddy head. Put that on there. Got ourselves a teddy bear. Hey, kid, whose name I already forgot. There you go. Isn't that a happy thing that happened? It's very happy so far. Don't kill the kid. Yeah, I know what you want to do. Huh. So now that you've got that, what now? Oh, swing. Oh, he's, he's popping off. Way up here. How about this? Way up there. Oh. Uh. This isn't what we do, is it? I want my teddy bear. Oh, this is the only way we'll get him to let go. Okay, yeah. Great game. Love this. Okay. Let's move on to Ida's next scenario, the fortune teller. Neat. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm the devil, and I have a target on my shirt. I'm dead, and I have a triangle. I'm the king, and I have an upside down triangle. I'm hanged, and I have the noose. Gotcha. I'm inside the tree, and I have a circle. Okay, these are a bunch of symbols. Hi, Ida. Kinda hot. What's up? What do you want? Oh no. Oh, we gotta match him up. Okay, wait. Devil there. Hanged man. Noose. The star and death. Okay, I gotta go back and look at these. Okay, so... Hang on. The star. The empress. This one is... That... Death is this, the hermit. So that's it. What'd that change? Did that change anything for you? Did it? It did something. Did they change? No, the symbols are still the same. Wait, you're still not happy? Oh! Now she gives me the key. I had to go back in and act like I was gonna move shit. Glass sphere, okay. Is this what you want? Now you happy? Hermit noose. Devil Triangle, Empress, why is, he sh why is she showing me the same ones? Okay, it's this actually, that did it. Mr. Crow. Is that predicting the future? 
You can give me another key, or... Oh. That was a weird one. Thanks, Ida. You killjoy. What a bummer. Leonard, Albert, Mary, Ida, and Samuel. Okay, so... Mary's the grandmother. Albert and Samuel are sons. Ida is the daughter-in-law. Leonard is... the kid that Albert kills? No. Is this him as a kid? Wow, they all look very happy. Not really. Okay. Let's get their hats. Because we gotta get them in their Sunday best. Uh, cap for the kid. That for her. Okay, so we got three out of the six hats. That's good. And then what is happening here? Okay, wait. Cool, that, that gives us another hat. I think this probably... No. No, we don't want to take the picture yet. He gets that hat? You think? Or does she get that hat? Yeah, that fits her better. So, Albert and Samuel still need hats. Okay. That was easy. So you press the white one four times because it's a square. Three times for black, triangle. Five times for white because it's pentagon. Three for black, four for white. That's pretty simple. Okay, got top hat. Now this. Okay. That's not it. <laughs> okay, this is... So what does the line mean? The lines are two. The dots are one. Okay, now I got it. Albert, he never goes anywhere without his mask. Okay, now we take the photo. Yeah! It's been immortalized, and that's what we saw in Ida's glass sphere. Wow, we got more to go. Okay, I accidentally did two in a row just there. So, back to... Emma? No, 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 we gotta do more of Albert. Okay. Winter 1896, The Lying Game. So this is Mary, Ida, Samuel, and Albert. Okay. So why have they been hanging out with Emma? She's kind of off on her own, isn't she? The Lying Game? What do you got? My sister died. <gasps> is that why she's not here? A key is hidden under the newspaper. Oh, wait, these are lies, right? I don't love Ida. Oh, he loves Ida. The high priestess always tells the truth. The devil always lies. The chariot lies only once. The empress tells the truth only once. Look outside. Oh, what the heck? Okay, so we gotta give everyone their cards. A card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo. Oh, they each have multiple eyes. The locker code ends with 9-4. It is summer. Okay, so they've each got three. I didn't know that. Is it summer? We can, we can check this real fast. Winter. Okay, so that's a lie. I know that that's a lie that you have. Locker code ends with 9-4. It is summer. A card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo. This is not a photo. <laughs> this is a photo. <gasps> that was right. That was right, Mary. So one of those is a truth. Locker code. So the locker code probably ends with 9-4 then. If we're going off of... So she's not the high priestess. We know that. 
She's got two truths and one lie, so she's the chariot. Okay, that was pretty quick to figure out. Okay. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? My sister died. The locker code starts with 37. A key is hidden behind the bottom right corner of the painting. Well, let's find out. Is this the painting? Doesn't really look like a painting. Hmm. I don't want I don't want to see your lies, Albert. Jeez. So this is this is not a painting. This this is a painting? Okay, so that was a truth. Ooh. My sister died. The locker code starts with 37. Let's see if it's 3794. If it is, then we got ourselves some information. It is 3794. So, okay, so I was right. So he is the chariot, because that was correct. So I think he might be the high priestess. Because those two were right. Let's take a look. So, he, he told the truth more than once. So he's the high priestess. Ooh. Great job, dude. Okay, so we've got the devil always lies. The chariot lies only once. Wait. The empress tells the truth only once. So we've got the empress and the devil to go. Let's take a look. I have a feeling you're the devil, but... My brother is not married. Well, he is married, though. Right? A card is hidden right of the painting. Okay. Let's find out. I don't think so. I think he's the devil. Yeah, he's the devil. Okay. Let's unlock this, though. Oh my god. Wait, does that count as right of the painting? Emma Vanderboom found dead, so she is dead. Well, spoilers, we hadn't gotten to that part yet. Incident at Rusty Lake Hotel. Okay, so... That's a lie. Or maybe it isn't. That was a truth. So he's the Empress, right? So he does love Ida. She's got a key is hidden under the newspaper. It's not. The devil has my photo in his pocket. What? But you're the devil. The locker code ends with four or six. That's not true. Okay, the only thing we have to check is his pocket. <gasps> So he's the devil. Right? Look outside. Oh my god. Hi! Who are you giving this to? Two guesses who? Wow. That was fun. That was a fun little little mini game there. Okay, apparently Emma dies. Fall 1891, the search. She's still by herself. Oh. Right, cause Albert kinda killed that dude. Let's take the ink. Wait, wait, there's something. Aha, I almost missed that piece of paper. B plus C plus D minus A. Thanks. Uh, we'll come back to this, I guess. So, right there. Okay. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Nice! Wow. There's a lot to look at here. Anything interesting? Like the cow? I don't 
know if there's anything worthwhile here yet. She's wearing black because her son died. Oh. Poor little guy. It's all freaking Albert's fault. Dear son, I have been looking for you for so long. If you find this letter, look for me in the stars. Oh. Ink. Yeah, I don't know. What do you want? Where is Albert? Oh, he's in the well, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's put this together. Okay, windmill is A. Want to match right there. Okay. B is 62. C is the bridge, D is the church, A is the windmill. Oh, okay, so 62. Right? Oh, wait, that's Harvey! Harvey! What you doing, buddy? Okay. So then A... All right, so we gotta do the windmill, the bridge, and the church. So the windmill is straight up five. Five. And then bridge. Uh, we can't go lower than that. So five, 35? Okay. 35, 62, 33. 33, five, right. So it's minus five is the answer. Okay, so we got 62 plus 33, that's 95, plus 130, so 125 might be the answer please it's not it's not the answer shit oh my god uh, i was off by one uh, i was off by one okay stamp right okay wait wait ink there put the stamp in thank you so much good ah Oh, we give this to Harvey. Here you go, Harvey. You've done it. And we're done with that scenario. Phew. Okay, well, since Emma's apparently dead in their timelines, I'm just gonna finish hers up. Summer 1896, the painting. Oh, uh, she's painting. Oh no, she's still looking for him. Albert, you freaking idiot. I hate Albert. I'll take that key. I got the shell too. And we got more and pestle. Thank you. Wow, we just got lots of stuff. Ooh, let's crush up the berries. Boom. Boom. Give me that. Put it in the shell. <laughs> I don't know. We'll we'll do something with it. Let's open up this. Take the paintbrush, take the bottle. Oh no, there's a noose. Do we... Would you like a paintbrush? Oh. Turmeric. Is this what we need? To give it like texture? Okay, well, I mean, we know what to do here, right? Oops, okay. Oh no. The lines are so thick. That's fine though. So these are. Oh. Okay. Let's get orange. This is gonna fill in, hopefully. Let's see right here. 
Nice. So we got those two colors. Hmm. I think she's gonna hang herself. Don't want it to happen, but it looks like it's going to. Oh. Oh, I got oil. Uh. Uh oh. Red paint. Okay, wait. Crush that. Add the oil to it. Crush this. Add the oil to it. That's the missing part that we were needing. No, 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 I don't actually want to talk to you, sorry. I just want to see your canvas. <laughs> sorry. Okay. This is white, right? Oh no, I'm gonna get dinged for accuracy here. Remember last time I had to paint in, uh, Arles, or Arl or whatever. A lot of people uh, had criticisms about my accuracy with painting. Well, it's a really thick line, okay? If you saw my artwork in real life, you'd think differently. Okay, yellow for that thing. That's not a joke, actually, I have done art before. I, I'm an award-winning artist, actually. Did you know that? I've won awards. They're all local, but... <laughs> still. Beat out some other people to it, you know? I don't get the chance to do art much anymore because YouTube kind of eats up every single ounce of my free time, but... It did happen for a while, so... And then this is red. It's like a blood moon. It's a shame, actually. I, I don't get to do many of my former hobbies anymore. Used to play guitar a lot, too. Oh, no. No, Emma! Sad. Wait, what is this? This is a long one! Fall 1924, The Well Part 1. Who the hell is Frank? Yeah, hi Frank. What? You can't just toss us in here. What is going on? I got a sharp rock and wire. What? <laughs> hi Frank. I would like some food. <laughs> oh, wait. Frank was named for kid. For some reason, I thought it was Leonard. But that's the other kid. He's still at the bottom of the well. It just clicked. Okay. Water, food, wind stick. So what is this again? Sharp rock, wire. Wow. You want the sharp rock? You want the wire? Okay. We'll get you out of here, Frank. <gasps> <laughs> How dare you? Yeah! Not so funny anymore, huh? Laughing at me. Eat some berries, Frank. I can't believe he's still alive down here. If only his mother knew. She just gave up. Okay, I got a twig. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Is that Albert? Huh. Not cool, man. Okay, this makes a whole lot more sense now. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this makes a whole lot more sense. Please give me water. Thank you. Good. Now, uh... I would also like food. So... Come on. <laughs> Take it forever. Yeah. Now, you go ahead and drink that water, Frank. 
We're gonna get you out of here. Yeah. Please give me food. I know I tried to skip a step there. Let's take that. Okay, grilled fish. You go ahead and... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just slurp it on down. Thank you for the fish bone. Now, I want a stick. Right, so you can hit Albert in the face. I understand, dude. I believe that's it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, we got a... There it is. Give me that one stick. Poke Albert with it. Yes. Now, go ahead and try it. Oh. Put the one stick in the table. What are you doing? I thought he was gonna hit him. Oh, he's so weak. <gasps> he put himself in the bucket. Oh, I thought you got to hit Albert as he comes taunt you, but I guess that's not what happens. What happens next to Frank? Winter 1927, the bathroom. He's out. He's taking a bath. Bath's really cold. <laughs> We're supposed to move these around. Gotcha. Okay, hang on. Let's check the drawers. Those are locked. We got matches though. Um, take this. No. We gotta turn the furnace on. Got the bucket. Oh my god. We gotta find kindling for a fire. Thank you. <laughs> ah, coal. Okay. Here we go. Put right there. There we go. Getting nice and warm. Temperature's going up. That's good. So, can I not fill up the water? Because, like, we need to put water in there. I don't want the temperature up. Dude, I understand. Trust me. Um, is there more? Okay, wait. Hang on, dude. We gotta... This is where we get water. I'm such an idiot. There we go. Bucket with water. Oh wait, you want to warm it up. Right. Bucket with hot water. There we go. Nice steamy bath. So what now? I want hotter. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. What are we supposed to do here? I think we're supposed to cover the cracks. At least that would make sense. Oh! Temperature's higher now. Now what? I want the temperature higher. Higher? I'm giving her all she's got, Captain! Oh, the window was open. Thanks, Frank. All right, let's get you cleaned up. Hey, you look good there. Oh. Okay, hey, good job. You look great. Oh, I put the hair in here. Oh. Okay, what was that? Collect all 10 sacrifices. Right. That's what this is. 
the tears of Emma Vanderboom, the heart of William Vanderboom, the hair of Frank Vanderboom, the tongue of James Vanderboom. Okay, I mean, we're getting there. Winter 1930, the stars. <gasps> Cause she said, look for me in the stars. Oh, poor Frank. Huh? <laughs> what? What is this? Bird food. We've got a couple other constellations. Uh, cool. <laughs> hey, Harvey. <gasps> oh my god! I have been looking for you for so long. If you find this letter, look for me in the stars, your mother. Poor Frank. Oh, hi. Yeah, I figured. Um. Maybe. It's pretty close. Oh, nice. All right, what up? Cool. Oh. Okay, let's look for her in the stars, I guess. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is right. Neat, it's like connect the dots. Fun. Okay, this one is uh it's gotta be wait wait. Yeah. Ooh, it's sideways, that's tricky. Nice. This one. Oh, I wonder what this one is. It's a cube. Just like everything else in this godforsaken game. Okay, there, 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 and there. We did it. What's going on here? Oh. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, I've got to look for her. There's this. Which is interesting. And then there's this. Da -da 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 -da. So wait, so this is open. What happens here? Oh. Forgot about that locked box. No, 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 let's go back up there. It's gotta be this. My son, read my letter. I did, actually. Okay, this one, it's like a really sloppy number two. <laughs> Yeah, oh, here it is. Right, he's Mr. Crow. Hello, brother. Make sure the grandchildren find the three timepieces. Bring the what? Oh my god. I skipped through it on accident. What's this? Stupid. Okay. Right here, lens. Oh wait. Oh no, we put the, I'm all over the place right now. But I can't get back up there. I was gonna put the lens over the telescope. Is it over this? There's a V. Oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. L-O-V-E. Oh, it's like a constellation chart. Oh, isn't that just so sweet? I think it's Lovo. I think that's the password. There we are. The time piece. We got it. He's got it. Good job, Frank. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta continue. Um... Yeah. Albert, Mary, Leonard, Ida, Samuel. The Family Band, summer 1904. What's up, guys? Let me have that. <laughs> what are you cheesy yucks up to? Well, you guys don't have... Ida looks like she'd rather be dead. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's everybody's sheet music. You got one? Ah, oh, I would like to hear some music. Okay, we got another sacrifice happening here. That's annoying. E G E G A E A E C B C B T L T L. Okay, that seems Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Great job, Ida. Wait, wait, wait. Not that. E. Right. Uh. Wait, that's not it. It's B C B C. Isn't it? No, it's C B C B. And then he's got A, E, A, E. Cool. There will be blood. What? There's voodoo dolls out here. With pins stuck in them. Did... Did Ida and, uh, Samuel die? <gasps> They're dead. What? Was it Albert? That bastard. <gasps> he killed her too. Teeth. Oh. What? The teeth of Mary Vanderboom. What the heck is going on? Spring 1914, the war hero. So this is Leonard all grown up. These poor kids. Samuel and Ida Vander Van Vanderboom murdered. What is happening at Rusty Lake? That's a great question. I think everybody has that freaking question. Okay, what is this? Three, two, one, four? Oh, I gotta... Those are the motorcycle instructions. Is there any way I can memorize that? Uh... Well, the seat clearly goes here, doesn't it? No? How come none of this is attaching? Okay, maybe I need a tool first. Oh, what is going on? Oh my god. I didn't know that that would happen. How do I give them to come back? Oh, okay, so I ring it and they all come back. Okay. What is going on here? <laughs> I want a motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to get to it, all right? I'll, I'll put the light on at least. That's the easiest part, right there. Oh my God, it works. Okay. That, so you're telling me, whatever. I got to take a look at the instructions again. Oh, the seat goes a little bit more forward. 
than where I was putting it. Gotcha. Pedal right there. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, here. This is, this goes right here. Dude, I don't know how to put together a bike. You're sitting here depending on me to do all this crap. Where does this go? It goes back here. Where is it? Oh, right there. <laughs> Duh. If I just taken two seconds to look. Well, I don't think I have the rest of the pieces yet. We need more motorcycle pieces. Okay. Let's take a look at this. So, if I want to go to D... Oh, these are where they are. Right. So, at the one o'clock position... We want four... We want four pigeons. So I got all four going through D. Which is what I thought I had to do. Are they all going to D? Oh my god, and they came back with it. Wow. Okay. Oh, I see. So I gotta send them all to the same place. Or no, just for that one. Okay, then for C. Okay. Let's do the next hardest one, which is A. So I need to send red straight there. Oh boy. And I just need to send green like over one or something. White there. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, well, blue can't get to A. Blue can't do it. So blue, you go right there. Uh, red, you're going straight there. White, like that, I guess. And then green. I can't remember what you do, actually. Oh, okay, wait. That's a little bit too far. Um, There. Let's try this. See what this does. Okay, that's correct for A. For green... Ah, oh, this is weird. It's cool, though. Is that it? Oh, shit. Okay, so they're all going to A. Here you go, Leonard. This is the weirdest possible way to get bike parts. Can I just say? Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Now, the easy ones. <laughs> B only requires two, uh, so A clearly goes right there. And then we move white over two, I guess. Yeah. White will go like there, maybe? <laughs> Okay, no, that's incorrect. Oh, we put green there. Sorry, this, this can't be very entertaining, me just saying shit like this. Oh no, I see. Okay, I move green over to the... Right there, please. Okay, so we got two going to B. Right? Yeah. So that's all we need. Come back with the bike part. Oh, that's it. Tremendous job. Now we just need one person to go to C. And I think that's going to be blue, actually. And I think we'll just move it up one. Or maybe possibly two? Yeah. This is, a, this is a job for blue. So let's see. Is that it? It looks like it. Let's send blue out on a mission. See if he comes back with it. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did 
you get it? No, damn it. Oh, okay. It, it's it's a job for white, actually. As it turns out. Come back! Bring me back my bike part, please! Please? Yes! I don't know how you did that all by yourself, but good job. You're not getting anything for it, though. No, no, no. Pick it up. <sighs> Let me take one last look at the bike parts. Okay, so that goes there. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. No, I got it. I got it for sure. I got it, I got it. So this, see this? Where'd it go? What? Did I put it down? Right here. Right here, right there. B. And then. Oh my god. How did that happen? Got it. Bye bye. Was he. Is he going off to war? Or... Winter 1918, the trenches. Oh. Oh, we gotta sacrifice. That's what this is. <gasps> Lost a leg. Poor guy. Wish I could read his thoughts, find out what he needs, what he, what he wants. Let's get the scissors. Uh, three symbols. So wait, we're recovering the wounds, right? So that's probably that. So like that. Hey, we helped him. Um Can I can I get that out of him? No. What do I do? Did something change? Hmm. Wait, what's it? Oh my god, I got a wooden leg. Give him the wooden leg. Oh, wooden cup? Now the wooden leg. Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay, so I gotta get this out of him somehow. I, got, I probably gotta scoop it. Is there anything? You could've told me that you had that freaking key. Pinchers, okay. Get this out of them. We're doing major surgery here. Now what? <laughs> There's nothing else in the pockets. You okay, buddy? Oh. I didn't mean to take the pin out. I mean, I, I did, but... So... Okay. Okay, that's not what happened. So don't take the pin out of that grenade. No! Not doing it. I need a key for this. Where is it? What do you want? I want a house. Oh, I want to be home. Oh. I want a house. Yeah, that's it. 
does it keep wanting me to do this? Oh wait, it wants me to do it again. And then reconstructing myself. Okay. Yeah, I'll try my best here. Right there. That's Ida and, um... Samuel. His parents. I guess we're doing it again, huh? Until we get a key. Who's this? Albert? Right, he knows who killed them. <gasps> oh my gosh. So many flashbacks, man. One last one. Mr. Crow again. Who we, uh... Keep seeing. Hello, brother. Save Leonard. We need him to find the treasure. About time. Okay, let's go back one more time. Last time, buddy, I promise. Oh, just wear a gas mask. Yeah, now you can pull the pin on the grenade. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, interesting. Oh, this will give the combination. Oh, I had it wrong. This is it. This is it. Right here. Right. Okay, so I'm set on triangle, circle, thingy. Okay, we got it. We got all we needed at you. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Some say down triangle though. Yeah, okay. And then this is the weird symbol. Holy crap, where is it? There we go. There, yeah, that's it. I found it. Foot! What are we supposed to do? What the foot? <laughs> oh, oh, it's his sacrifice. So is all this for the rebirth that's supposed to be happening that we saw early on? It's like 10 sacrifices equals one rebirth, right? We got four more sacrifices to go. Fall 1929, the treasure. <laughs> Look at this guy, he is done with this shit. Timepiece, three crickets, two toads, oh. All right, I'm back. I took a little break because I saw this and I just got instantly overwhelmed. We've been solving a lot of puzzles so far in this video and I haven't taken a break, but we got a shovel and we're back. Cool. So the frog and the timepiece and the rock. I guess this is what this map is referring to. And there's a frog. So we need a beetle and a grasshopper? I don't know. Oh, hey, grasshoppers. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. Hmm, okay. No, I see. I'll do that in a second. Hi, come here, come here. Thanks, insect. <laughs> yes, it is an insect. Okay, so we just need the grasshoppers. Now, I think we're supposed to make them switch places. Oh boy, okay. So like, what if we did this? Yeah? Ah, crap, but I can't.
I think it's that. Be kind of weird. Hmm. No, oh, it was easy. Yeah, we got it. Okay, got the grasshopper. And the shovel and the insect. It looks like it's all relating back to this. So let's take a look at this map one more time. So this is a path, clearly. So three frog jumps from the rock at the bottom. Three beetle jumps, because they all jump. And then three grasshopper jumps, two. So it's three, three, two, or they each go three times. And then two, two, then one, three. <laughs> Wait, and is the order the same? Let me see. The beetle goes three times. Jeez. Oh, everybody just moves one direction. That makes sense. Okay, I think I can do this. Okay. So let's say it's like here or something. Right there, right? So. One, two, three. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Fuck. Okay. Well, I didn't know putting them down was going to be such an ordeal. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. One, two, three. Put him right here. One, two, three. And then we put the beetle here. One, two. Then we put the frog here. We go one, two. Then we put the beetle here. One. And then put the grasshopper here. So let's see. One, two, three. Uh. What? Got it. <laughs> okay, got the timepiece. All right, let's give it to him. Here you go, buddy. Yeah, I have it, there. <laughs> I want the timepiece that you have that I refuse to accept. Okay, and then these are converging right here. So now, we finished up Leonard and Frank's little pads. Now we just need to finish up Albert's. And here he is with Samuel and Ida. Summer 1904. What's going on here? Are they at Albert's place? Is he scared? Can't tell what she is. She's scared. They're both scared. They don't look that scared though. Okay. Uh, different expressions for different poses. Oh, there's two sacrifices here. Crap. Light it. What'd that do? There's Albert. He wants two eyes. Oh my god. Okay. Wait. Use the candle. Do we burn it? No. She's got. She's got an X over her heart. Oh, wow. Okay. So what do we... Yeah, I know you're scared, okay? We're all scared. Life is pain, alright? What'd that do? Oh! I moved their limbs. Got a key. Uh, then this opens... A pin, and that goes in her for sure. Oh. 
Um, well, yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, wait. Do I make her move? Yeah, that does move her. Okay, and then... Now I make her move like... This? Her expression changed. So that means we... Okay, I understand what we gotta do. Is that it? Why? I think I got lucky there, or something, because I still had one pose left to go. Oh, I know what we do. We took his eye. We took her eye. We took, we took their eyes. Oh my gosh. I got an achievement. The eye. Albert. You suck, dude. I hate to say it, man, but you're just the worst. Now that count as two that did. The eye of Ida Van uh, Vanderboom, the eye of Samuel Vanderboom. So we just got two more. We got someone's brain left to go. Whose brain is that? Summer 1909, the brood. No way! Frank! Oh, what did I give him? The berries? Um... The berry. Do I have a berry? Potato. Egg. You have one of her eggs? Oh my god, he's gonna artificially inseminate the egg. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, here, there's a jar. Oh no. Oh, come on! <laughs> Let's give Frank this. Do you want potato? Do I give you... And he gave me flints in exchange. Go away, Frank. Thank you. Don't like having you down there guilting me. Flints to start the fire. And then we got a pipe puzzle. Okay. This should be no problem. This should be a cinch. Let's see. This goes... And... No, that's not quite it. There. Okay, so whatever we put in the funnel goes straight in there. Let's take a look at the instructions once again. So the egg and the, uh, mm -hmm, go in the funnel. And then we gotta have the tap and that go in each side. So... Wait, how do you do this? Oh, I see. And then... Okay, I gotcha. No, no, I get how you do this. Okay, so... Put that back. Egg. Uh, hoo ha And then... Oh, it's birth potion. That's what that green stuff is. Okay, so, and then... Wow, just like that, the miracle of life in a laboratory. <laughs> Can scarcely believe it. Okay, what's going on here? Rose, the daughter of Albert and Ida.
Aldous Vanderboom. That's Mr. Crow. That's his name, Aldous Vanderboom. William Vanderboom. Hey, this looks a lot like where Frank was holed up earlier. What's going on, Rose? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, she won't let me take the key. Can you hear me? Yeah? Oh. What is your first name? Okay, either William or Aldous, right? Okay, the key goes to that, so we gotta do this... Yeah, let's say we're William. Because I guess that's what... Yeah, okay, that's right. What is your last name? Oh, you're gonna make me spell out Vanderboom? Are you kidding me? Who do, what, <laughs> what do you think my last name is? Vanderboom. Did it. Sup? Do you want my key? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do. <laughs> Give it! Let's find out what's in this golden cabinet. Ah, okay. Ooh! Got another key. Live. What do you want? Live. What do you need to live again? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me get back to you on that. Rebirth sacrifices. They're all doing this just so William can be reborn? Three time pieces to some sort of gate. Okay. I wonder what the last sacrifice is gonna be. He's gotta get somebody's brain, so. What do you need to live again? Okay, I, I guess this would be sacrifices, so. Oh no. Oopsie. I messed up. <laughs> the ghost misspelled something. Sacrifices. So this is how it all goes down. I was wondering what was going on in those other stories. What do you need to open the gate? It's good that we're doing this earlier time time pieces. Uh later, rather, with Rose. Because it makes Frank's and Leonard's side of the story make more sense. Time pieces. Good. Okay, that was simple. Didn't take much convincing. Okay, now she's got to get hers, right? What's up, Rose? You looking a snack? I guess. Oh! No! Bad dog! <laughs> Cup. Worm. There's always something you do with these. We'll get back to that. Wind stick. It just clicked. We're the person on the other side of the well. Oh shit. Please help me. Drink food, wind stick, get out. Okay. Oh, the cup doesn't have any water in it yet. Um, okay, let's take this axe or hatchet. Same thing, let's, uh, hack off. There we go. Got some of that. Put it here. Uh, wind stick, right there. That's where we're gonna grill the fish. How do we get a fish? <laughs> what do we do to get a fish? Uh, we got a bear trap right here. Don't tell me we make the dog pee in the cup. 
Oh my god, we make, we make the dog pee in the cup. Cup with liquid. Achievement unlocks the cup. You made him drink dog piss? <sighs> no. Come on. Come on. Can't Frank catch a break? He wants food. Okay. I gotta see how this works. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you done peeing? Good. Oh my god. How did that happen? Oh wait, no, no, I gotta grill the fish. Right, but then I gotta... Hmm. Oh! Rusty Lake, you tricky devil. There we go. Cool, so... Getting that grilled fish. There it is. Let's put the grilled fish in there. And, uh, let's go ahead and take the wind stick back, because you know he's gonna ask for that back. Wait. No, no, put it... Sorry, Frank. Momentary hiccup. Let's get it. Oh. Oh no, he wants the stick. I was gonna try to take the fish skeleton. I don't know what I was thinking. And now he should come up. <laughs> Sup, Frank? Long time no see. Oh wait, what? What's this? Fall 1926, checkmate. Frank Albert. <gasps> Ooh! Showdown for the centuries. I bet he doesn't even know who Frank is. This must be. This must be before Frank's bath. Oh, he wants to kill Albert. I do not blame you, dude. He sucks. Was this like a checkerboard? Oh, he wants to kill. Okay, so he knows who he, he knows who Frank is. What's going on there? Okay, we'll come back to that. It's Albert's brain that that gets sacrificed. We got the knife back. The brain is what goes in there. Okay, we're gonna peel the potato. <gasps> we got a chess king. Well, where do we place it? That is odd. Huh, I'm wondering if those two things have any relation. It doesn't seem like there's anything else to to do. No? Do I just place it somewhere on the board? Oh! I'm the king. Why do I have a crown? Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just... It's like a line, so then you just go up and down to make the squiggles. To the other side. I was... I was way overcomplicating it. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, so I'm trying to checkmate him. Right. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Yeah, that was easy. I play chess, okay? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, he's the king now. Uh-oh. You know you're in for it. Now what? Doesn't that mean I checkmated him? Oh, 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 oh.
S U C scrub. Is that what it is that what it's supposed to spell? Oh, cerebrum. That's an M he's under. Fuck. S <laughs> It's late. C E R E. Hmm. Okay, there's a couple B's to choose from. But then I want to get to this U so I can get M. Sorry. B R U. So R U. Okay. I couldn't see the R from where my piece was. Oh, look at this. How the turns have tabled, right? Oh, getting a pretty rough massage there, Albert. Okay, he's dead. Time to extract the cerebrum. Put it in the water. There we go. That's, uh... Is that the last sacrifice? No. We still need one more. Okay, here we go. Spring 1933, The Last Dance. Frank and Rose. Okay. Now you two look thrilled to be here. Okay. Ten sacrifices, ten family members, one rebirth. The last one is blood. Sanguis. Sanguis. <laughs> Sanguis. It is late. What's up? The lake suite. The lake suit. I'm just gonna mispronounce everything. How about that? Hey, I did it. <laughs> what a tough puzzle. Oh no. Screwed that up. Boom, then boom. Then boom. Got it? Oh my god. It's like those ice block puzzles <laughs> in every old RPG. Oh, that's easy. Thanks. Give me a challenge. No, I didn't mean it. <laughs> right there? That goes there, that goes there. Um... Oh, okay, I know what to do. Put in there, do that, then that, and then that, and then... How many more? Oh my god. It's like... Okay, what if... Oh, oh, this is way easier than I made it to be. I don't know why it took so long. The Vanderboom's family time. Hey, it's that magnificent record we, we helped record earlier. Also, what's this? Okay, whatever. So... What? Oh no. Uh, right, right, left, left. Right, 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 right. Left, 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 left. Right, right. Two, two, three, three, two. Okay. Yeah, give me that key. I earned it. I earned it. Dress. Give me that record. Now I'll put this one on. Dress. Achievement unlocked. The dress. That's the same dress the girl from Cubescape Seasons wears.
Okay, this one. Oh, this one's a little more complicated. Three to the right. One, 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 two, three. Three. Okay, let's do it. Okay. What am I doing? There's an X on a pointer finger. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, uh, we prick her finger. We've done it. That's the last sacrifice. We've got all ten sacrifices. Fall 1932, the graveyard. Okay. Oh, this is all of their graves. Rose is visiting them. What do you want to do? Oh, you want the timepiece. You want the timepiece? Give me that timepiece. Hey, I'm gonna need this, probably. Good boy. Stop peeing everywhere. Break into it. Albert's got a shallow grave there. Uh... So we got a bone from Emma Vanderboom. Oh no. Oh. Months, days. Oh, we got to do the. <laughs> okay, I got this. Okay, we're recomposing the skeleton for some reason. Okay. So, this is. This is going to be Emma plus. Who's that one? And then Samuel plus Albert days. Okay, so Samuel plus Albert days. So 30 plus 3. So 33, right? Yeah, because it's day then month. So that's 33. And then Emma, that's 10. 1033 so far, and then Ida is the last one. Oh, they have the symbols right there. 2233, okay. They have them right there. It's just sometimes when I'm concentrating, I'm not looking. Thanks. A piercer, really need the piercer. Uh. So we're, we're Constituting. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, let's just get them all out there. Great. Fantastic. Looking good. So, is this William Skeleton? Right. Oh boy. Okay, so that's, uh. That's about right. This. Right there. Come on. Shouldn't take too long. Sorry, guys. It shouldn't take too long. There we go. We've done it. <gasps> Spooky scary skeletons. The, ch the teeth are chattering. Got the timepiece. Give it to Rose. She deserves it. She's worked hard. <laughs> okay, we've got all three timepieces. Now what? Spring 1935. Roots. Here we go. Leonard, Frank, and Rose. Together. Here we are. William Vanderboom. All for this guy. What's he gonna do with his life, huh? Oh my god, there's so much shit. M-S-I-E-A. All right, what do you want? Oh, 
First things first. Give me that time piece. Yeah, you guys thought you earned these? Well, guess what? You didn't. I did. I earned them. Okay, we... Adjust the time. I got that. Okay, so we got... J R L F. That's weird. And then there's some ultimate code here. Okay, so we got two eyes, teeth, tears, brain. We got, and then her blood, his tongue, his foot, and, uh,. What do we take from him again? I forget. Oh, his hair. Right. Okay, what am I putting together here? Ah, oh, okay, here we go. The Crow and the Dead Man. The Alchemist Brothers. Right, so William and Mr. Crow are brothers. Samsara. Okay. Oh, we got to match up the symbols. Okay. So that goes here. Uh, that goes to this one. That goes to this one. Okay. 245. 245. They all say 245. So I guess we'll go back to the clock. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. Oh, roots. Oh, the roots. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, 2, 45, you know what happens at 2, 45? Oh, Rose, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bye guys. What? There's one missing, what happened to it? Hang on, wait, let me take a look, because I remember seeing numbers here. Not, not you. Three for the hair, one for the tongue. Three for the hair. Hmm. That doesn't really make any sense, does it? Uh. Okay, there's two fives, so, but there's also two ones. What? Oh, this is weird. And there's a blank spot. Oh, and this is, these are the quantities that are weighed. Wait, okay, oh, so these are weights. So, hair is three, tongue is one. Oh, oh. Six. Oh, so everything equals six. So then six minus the number that it's on is its weight. Okay, I get this, I get this, I get this. Okay, so S, Samuel, I, Isabel. So those are the weights of the two I's, which are one, so those are gonna be five each. Because it's, it's six, Minus one equals five. And then M. M is, uh, right, Mary, so those are teeth. How much do the teeth weigh? So we know that the quantity is six. The teeth weigh three, so the teeth is, uh, three. And then, uh, ear, E-A-R. Uh, so we got tears, brain, blood. Tears, brain, blood. Tears are two, brain is three, so two, three, four. Eh, 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 not bad, huh? There it is, how did it get in there? Balance the substance of your past lives, six. Yeah, I could have used that info beforehand. I guess the heart weighs one. The roots are dipping into each of them. 
What does it mean? I've done it, everyone. Are you proud, William? Oh. We just click them. Here we go. I'm sorry, was that a maze? Am I supposed to be clicking here? Oh, I'm just giving- I'm giving them all to him. Okay. Time's passing. Seasons are changing. Achievement unlocked. Rebirth. There's the dress again. What's the significance of the dress? Congratulations, you completed the family tree. Click on more routes to find additional family secrets. Yes! The story of Rusty Lake continues. What's going on here? The past is never dead, it's not even past. Go back to your roots by finding a gold family emblem near every family member. Use this first hint, 666. What? And look, there's the dress pattern. Does William reincarnate as the girl from Cube Escape Seasons? That Dale Vandermeer investigates the murder of in Cube Escape Case 23? <laughs> if so... What? Whatever, man. Okay, 666. Obviously. No way. Like. Okay, what we got here? What we got? 666. What's all this? Got a gold emblem. Oh, wow, there's a lot here. There's a lot of hints. Oh, okay, wait, so this is for Leonard's scenario with the birds. That is for Emma's flower pots. Right, because they're each... Duh. That is for Albert's thing. And then Crow for the hermit. And then, uh... And these, I guess, are for Ida's. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go to uh, Emma's first. Three, four, two, four, one. Three, four, two, four, one. Okay. Three, four, two, four, one. Three, four, two, four, one. 
Oh my god. Okay, so we got... We got two of them. Okay, this is weird being back here. There we go. What is this? The Empress. Tell Rose the letters and the names. R1, S4, J5, A6, M4. Huh? The letters and the names. The letters and the names? Oh, right, so... Yeah. Samuel, Ida, Albert, Frank, Rose, Mary, James. Okay. R1, L1. E1. It spells Rusty Lake. Tell Rose the name in the letters. Or the letters in the whatever. So we spell Rusty Lake. I so will help you. Yeah, good. Okay. Let's see what happens if we spell it. R U S T Y L. Yes. Okay, so we got hers. So we got. We got four already. I'm gonna have to go back and take a look at his case again. Okay, so we got Emma's, we got uh, Albert's, we got Rose's. We need to... <laughs> oh, what the hell, man. Aha! Wow. Got Ida's just by rearranging the... Um, Cards. Same way you got one? I mean, I don't really even know what it would be, so... My bad. I'll go back to the tree. Let's take a look and see what else we're missing. So, I've, I've still got Leonard's that I need to figure out. I've got Crow. C-R-O-W. For the Hermit. Oh my god. You spell Crow. Oh my god, wait, 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 what's this? 43125. The Lovers. Right, that's Mary. 43125, got it, okay, okay. It's this. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck. I screwed it up, I think. One. Two, three, four, five. Wait, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Give me that. Okay, I've got all of them except for two. I've only got two left. Samuel and Leonard. I know how to get Leonard, sorta. It's with the birds. I haven't figured it out yet. But then Samuel's... Like, I honestly don't know what it could be. What could it be? I probably changed the time to something, right? Oh, this is it. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. Oh my god. Okay, this is what we do for Samuel. Yeah. No, no, no. Not that. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. It's this. Yes! Okay, I've got all of them. Oh, no. No, no, no. I've got all of them, except for Leonard's. So let me figure this one out. There it is. The combo was blue, red, white, green. Uh, okay, there it is. That's the last one. Now what? I got an achievement, the last emblem. 
Hello, Mr. Crow. Hello, brother. Find the elixir. He greeted me back. Hello, brother. Find the elixir. Find the elixir. Earth. Huh. Oh, interesting. Huh. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Oh. A long time ago. Let's see. Hmm. So I guess I just make stuff and... What happens when we douse the fire? Nothing. Fire plus air equals nothing. Fire plus earth equals lava. Okay, air <laughs> plus water equals cloud. <laughs> okay, we can't combine water and fire. Water and earth equals clay. Air and earth equals Dust. How am I supposed to make the elixir? Earth with stone? You gotta use air with stone. Water? Air. Fire with sand. That me makes a glass. Wait a second. I think this is the formula for the elixir. Glass plus egg? <laughs> That's what it looks like. How do you make egg? Fire? Algae. Small eggs. Algae plus earth equals small eggs. Shrimp. Okay, we got something. We got something. Okay, I think small eggs are actually important. I think small eggs can be made into egg. But I don't know how. Maybe it's time to start combining these somehow. I don't know how to do it. Pot. Excuse me, chalk? Chalk. Wait. Oh, because you use... So you turn the pot into chalk with the shell? Okay. Chalk plus small eggs. I'm sorry, how? Wait, what? Elixir. I don't understand that. Okay, whatever, we did it though. You drink first, brother. I uh, gladly. So am I playing as William here? Seed. Don't worry. We are always here in our past and future lives. Achievement unlocked the crow. Better give me the seed. Better give me the seed. Right. Okay. The fate of Rusty Lake lies in this small seed. I have to leave now. Mr. Owl needs me. But we will meet again in this life or the next. Congratulations, you found all family secrets. Thank you for playing. What's he gonna do with that seed? Also, I didn't find all family secrets. There's still achievements I don't have. No, 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 there's still stuff to do. Okay, no, that's actually the entire game. That was great! I really enjoyed Rusty Lake Roots. I think it's probably the best in the series that I've played so far. The only ones that I haven't played are Cube Escape the Cave, which I'll play next at some point and Rusty Lake Paradise, which is the one that will wrap up the dirty dozen, if you will. It's really late. I know I already said that. <laughs>
but uh, yeah, that was really good. I like how much story there was in it, and it kind of connected a lot of things about the main series. Like, I'm pretty sure it's implying that William Vanderboom sacrificed his entire family just so he could come back to life as that girl in the dress from Cube Escape Seasons. <laughs> Just so she can get murdered and Dale can investigate it. Which, by the way, I kept waiting for a mention of Dale, because his name is Dale Vandermeer. So I thought maybe there'd be some relation to the Vanderbooms. And maybe there is, but he wasn't in the tree anywhere. I actually thought that's where it was leading. I thought it was going to lead to the birth of Dale Vandermeer somewhere in there, but it didn't. Whatever. <laughs> Cool, I guess I'll find out more about Dale and uh, the other characters in the following games. So yeah, this is where it all began. This is where the tale of Rusty Lake started. Really cool. Enjoyed it a lot. This game's only three bucks on Steam, which is a steal if you ask me. Uh, very enjoyable game series overall, and nine out of the 12 games are totally free and you can play them in your browser. So that's awesome. Uh, Rusty Lake also has a Kickstarter going on, I believe right now, I think it's still going, for a Rusty Lake movie. So if that's still going, I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. And thank you guys for being patient with me, taking a while to play this game. It's just, I knew it was gonna be a really long video, so I needed to set aside hours and hours of time to put it together. But now that I've finally done it, I'm glad I did. It was a good, good ride. And I uh, don't have much else to say about it. I think this was probably the most shocking of the series. It was a part where you had to like cut off the umbilical cords and make the dog eat the placenta. There was Albert's whole storyline where he trapped Frank in the well and um, abducted Ida and uh, Samuel and stuck them their voodoo dolls with pins and set them on fire. That was crazy. I did really enjoy the chess match between him and Frank at the end. That was neat. And uh, Rose liked Rose. Uh, Leonard was just kind of there, but uh, Samuel was just kind of there too. So I guess like father, like son. I think. James's demise was a little early, a little unexpected. But overall, I feel like each of the family members got time to shine, if you will. I think my favorite scenario is probably the Lion game. That was really fun to figure out. Uh, but they were all pretty fun in their own ways. I did miss the larger puzzles that happen in other games. In this, like, you know, there's, whatever, 33 different scenarios full of little mini puzzles that you have to put together. And you kind of have to get used to solving a couple small puzzles, starting over in a brand new scenario with nothing in your inventory. And I kind of got used to, uh, in the other games, saving my items up and getting on a roll like oh and this goes there and that goes there and ooh, this goes there I finally figured this out we finally got the clue for this other puzzle I've been stuck on and you don't really get that same feeling with this one because by the time you're getting on a roll with the puzzles the scenario is over and you got to start a new one so that was a little different I'm not sure I liked that about it but overall the content was really cool and I really enjoyed it and that's about all I have to say so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about Rusty Lake Roots and the video as a whole. These long videos take some time to put together and uh, I think a lot of people don't click on them just because they're really long, but I don't know, you guys that actually watch them seem to like them, so I'm gonna try to keep making them. I've, I've made quite a few two, three, four, five hour videos over the past nine months or so. And I think it's a good way to distribute videos that of games that are longer. So I think I'm gonna keep doing that for the most part. 
some games like Danganronpa, which I played recently on my second channel, you know, it took 26 videos for me to get it out. There's no way I can do that in one video. But for ones that are just a couple hours long, I think it's a good good way to do it. So I'm going to keep doing that. So Rusty Lake Paradise will also be in one video. And of course, Cube Escape the Cave as well, because I don't think that's very long. So that's what I'll be playing next. I don't know when. It's very low priority because these aren't new games. Uh, but it'll happen at some point. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.